In the 1900s, churches in America were separated by racism. There's a white gentleman by the name of Charles Parham. Charles Parham specializes in teaching about the power of the Holy Spirit. There's a hungry black man by the name of William Seaton. He says, I want to learn about the Holy Spirit. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Your problem is you ain't hungry enough. Charles Parham is teaching, and he said, William Seymour can't come in my class. He black. Let him sit in the hallway with the door open ajar, and whatever he get, he get. He got all the game from the hallway and took that game down to Los Angeles and started the Azusa Street Revival that had blacks, whites, upper class, middle class, Asian, Latino, and the Azusa Street Revival changed the entire landscape. Three years, three services a day, seven days a week. They were baptized in Jesus' name, filled with the Holy Ghost, speaking in other tongues as the Spirit gave utterance. Y'all keep shouting over Azusa 1906, but y'all don't know you go to a church that's trying to create the Bay Area 2024. If the Holy Ghost can pop off at that middle school in Antioch, then it can get down to Pittsburgh, then it can spread to Oakland, then it can slide through Vallejo, then it can slide up to Sacramento. Give your neighbor a high five and say revival.